Yeah, we are live. Hi, everybody. So this is a bit of a different haul video for me today. I didn't actually want to go live, but I can't work out how to do it on StreamYard or YouTube anymore, how to just do a normal video. So we are now in my kitchen because it's the only room in the house that has a door on so that I can um, close out the noise so that Taylor sleeps. She's actually just on my monitor just over there. So today, after yesterday's recent um, suspected heart attack, which it wasn't, <laughs> um, I spent eight and a half hours in hospital to be told they don't know what it is and they're going to put it down to stress and anxiety, which to be fair, I have had a lot of stress and anxiety lately. So yeah, I agree. Um, so yeah, after after yesterday, I just wanted a day with me and Taylor today. So we decided this morning, since though she got up at 12 in the, yeah, 12 midnight, um, we decided to go, oh, we have got three viewers, make ourselves known. Uh, yeah, we decided to go to Dewsbury at, I think it was half eight this morning because we've been up so long. Um, so yeah. Hi, Kath. Hi, Bumblebee. Yes, thank you. I'm feeling much better. Um, bit of a scare, but yeah, I'm feeling much better now. So yeah, after doing the um, live with Kelly, I thought about what we were talking about and thought, do you know what? I'm going to try and dip my toe into clothing. I know I do buy a bit of clothing, but I've bought quite a, mo a bit more today. It's probably not what everybody else um, buys. Because I obviously, I do know my makes. I do know um, my high street makes, my designer makes. But I, I can't help uh, looking at the weird stuff. So I will tell you what I've got. It's not all clothing. So for instance, I bought this mirror that is showing the whole of my kitchen off and all my uh, children <laughs> paraphernalia. Uh, yeah, I bought this mirror, which is not old, but it's reminiscent of an old design. It's a modern one and it was just a pound. So I thought, yeah, why not? It's not a good time of year for clothing. What buying or selling? Don't say that. Um, yeah, this is a bit of clothing. I'm going to find it difficult to show you this because I'm really short and this is on work top. Hang on. See if I can stand back. Yeah, that might be a bit better. So this was a pound. It's not a vintage make, I don't think. It's together. So I think it's just a cheap make, but it's a really long cobalt blue chiffon -y pleated skirt and I just thought for a pound that would go um, really it would look really nice on the mannequin and I thought for a pound yeah it's got a bit of a vintage vibe to it that else going from vintage stuff this is also vintage this is Canada which is CNA was it Canada yeah it's Canada I've always called it Canada but yeah it's Canada it was a pound from the age UK and it's mohair cardigan. I think it's a woman's, although it looks like a man's. Hi, Martina. Yes, I'm back to normal. So I'm just trying to show you a haul. So that's a mohair cardigan and that was a pound. So if I've done anything wrong or if I say anything wrong uh, in the clothing, please let me know because I don't actually know what I'm doing. Um, I also bought these because they were, they're like a blush pink suede boot. Not my cup of tea at all, but they were a pound and they're unworn or maybe worn ones. No, they're not. They've not even been worn. They're clean as a whistle. So, but they have got a bit of, on the top 
of there. So I'm just going to get my square brush. You can't really see colour in this. It's because it's dark, it's night, and I've got all my lights on in the kitchen. Um, but I thought for a pound, surely there's money to be adding them. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing with this modern stuff. So, but yeah, a pound, you can't really go wrong with a pound, can you? Can you see the colour, Martina? Because it looks really light on my um, screen. But it's like a blush pink. Anyway, same shop. This is Dewsbury, by the way, where I went, which is where my mum lives. It's a bit naff. But I just wanted a day with Taylor. This is Creative Design Industries. Never heard of it. It's not an old tag, modern, but I thought it had a bit of a 60s vibe to it. It's bright yellow, like a little shift dress. It's got pockets in either side. If you can see that, there is a pocket here, look. And I just liked that detail on the front. It is literally bright sunshine yellow. So probably the wrong time of the year, but it was only a pound. So can't really say no for a pound. What's this? I can't remember how much stuff I bought. Oh, this is for me. <laughs> it's just a Primani, like a jumper dress in burgundy to cover my fat pregnant, pre post pregnancy belly. That's for me. These are, and I'm pretty sure they are old Ravel. Can you see it? Oh, I need to go opposite way, yeah. I'm pretty sure they're like 90s Ravel. I'm not sure if anyone can put me straight, but I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. And 90s is back in at the minute. So I bought those and they were two pound from the scope shop. Don't ask me what I'm gonna get back for any of this stuff. Cause I have no idea, I'll have to do a bit of research. So if any clothing sellers want to tell me uh, what anything's worth, that's fine. I got a bit of jewellery. There is a bit more somewhere. So I got a nice translucent, uh, it's, a bit of it's a bit of a luster wear bangle, plastic, that were. I got all four of these for a pound, so they're 25p each. So there's that one. It's one of those shops, you know, like the when they've had, they've been for sale in other shops at full price and nobody's bought them and then they chuck them all into one shop. This is one of them shops. Uh, this is a plastic, chunky. Uh, it's a bit marbly bracelet. But I thought for 25p, I don't usually do the stretchy ones because I think they're a bit naff, to be fair. But this is really chunky and it, it looks like a decent quality one. Another one of these. I've had loads of these. See, that says 99p on it. So that's how much it will have been at the first shop. Then it's gone to this shop and it's 25p. But yes, I can sell these all day long for like 8 to £12. Pound. Um, one of these, which I think I've got another one of these as well today. Just a wooden, no edge to it. It's just a wooden bangle with um, print on it, brass. Um, is it brass? No, it's wooden with a bit of brass. That was 25p, so I'll probably get about, what, £8 for that? So that's the first bag. On to the next bag. I'm going to run out of room here. Let me think about this. Wow. Yeah, the next bag. So this skirt I picked up, it's a size 16 and it's just a little green and pink tartan pleated skirt. Now, I don't know the maker of this, but it looks to be a nice quality. I've got a feeling it's next. It says with love. And it's just got a little green tag thing it's got a little love heart there i don't even see it and it just says with love oh it does say next yeah it's next hey i'm not that bad then am i but i just thought for a 
pound, were it? Yeah, pound. I thought somebody might want that for winter with some thick black tights. I don't know how much I'll get for it. This I'll probably keep for myself. This is just a grey and black linen little skirt. I just like these scalloped edges. Not scalloped. Well, you know what I mean, rounded. I just thought that was quite smart. And that was 50p. I think that's next. Yeah, it is. Probably keep that for myself. Alabaster. Yeah, it is like alabaster, but obviously it's plastic. It's not actual alabaster. Um, also picked up this. This is vintage. Uh, but it's definitely polyester. And I've just realised the bloody elastic's nearly gone in it. But still, I thought that was a nice print. And I've sold a few skirts lately that were vi that are vintage. So even though I am dipping my toe into clothes, I'm still going for the vintage stuff. And this is an 18. Next sizing runs small. Well, it looks small, to be fair, because I'm a 16 and that won't fit me. In fact, I'm probably not a 16, I'm probably an 18. Um, these are definitely 90s because they have a giant turn up and they are cropped and they are foul, but I've recently sold a pair very similar. No idea what meant that is. It'll just be some market make. It's got a little bit of embroidery on the back. But like, I mean, 90s is back in, isn't it? It's absolutely disgusting, but it is back in. I got Taylor a little, obviously this thing's in here that's what I bought. I got Taylor a little flamingo outfit. Boop, for a pound. She has absolutely no three to six month old sleep suits. She's totally grown out of everything. So I'm frantically buying them. Got this little leather, red leather box. I've just sold a box like this. Can't remember how much I got for it. I think it only went for a fiver, but I think it was 50p, so. Excuse, Excuse me. <laughs> also got Taylor a Ted Baker little jacket she has got this exact same one in six to nine which she does actually wear but it's a long it's it's too long on her because this is three to six so this will probably fit her lengthwise but i just love the uh ted baker baby stuff this range this quilted range because look inside so cute and that was a pound so that's for me well this is to sell Sorry, I keep going out of shot. This is to sell. This is a long, probably 70s, quilted St. Michael's. Hang on. I will get the hang of this stupid camera. Come on, focus. You can sort of see that. Nylon St. Michael's. Can you see that braiding? It's beautiful. Quilted, fitted, bed coat. And I've seen these do really well. And it's nice colour, good condition. And that was that was that was three whole pounds. Wow, I'm pushing the boat out, three pounds. Uh what else have we got? That's some Christmas peasants, so you can't look at that. Oh, I have to show you these what I got. I got these on Jewsbury Market. Three for a pound. And I've never seen anything with her name on. It says, Merry Christmas, Taylor. And it's a little money box. It's a little tin. So there were three for a pound and there was three left. So I got three. One for me, one for my tree, one for my mum's tree, and one for David's mum's tree. I thought that was pretty cute. Um, next bag. Oh, a ka-ching. A ka-ching live. Hi, Andrew. Good keywords for the vintage dressing gown. I don't know. Bed coat. 
quilted, fitted, 70s, St. Michael's. What's the stuff called? Not braiding, is it? Not embroidered. Don't know. I've got a ka though. there. Let's have a look what it is. Best offer, £15. What is it? I think I'm going to accept this because I've had a shit day. Yeah, you can have that. An electric calculator. Yay! My first life ka -ching. Sorry, I keep going off shot, don't I? Maybe turn it that way a bit. So I bought this. This is modern. But it's gold, and gold's going to be in again for Christmas, apparently. It's no make. Um, it's just a little quilted clutch bag. But I thought, oh, it was 50p or 25p. Might have been 25p. It was either 25p or 50p. But anyway, for, for that, and I can put retro, um, 80s style, because it's obviously not, it's modern. Um, quilted gold clutch Christmas party. There you go, throwing a few keywords out there. Um, oh, I also got this for Taylor. It's a baby gap dress, pink and corded, and so cute for a pound. I mean, there's not wrong with it. I just thought it was cute, and it's a zip up, so it'll be an e easy to get on and off. No, these silly buttons at back. I mean, who invented kids' clothes with buttons at back? Do you know where I can get a cheap waterproof mattress cover? My son is going through the bedwetting stage and don't know how to help him. I'd say Amazon. Probably be best bet. Yeah, Matt will undo them. Uh, is it an actual bed or is it a cot? Because if it's a cot, you'd be best online. Or... Oh. I mean, we've got a mother care outlet and they're really cheap. Picked this up in the same uh, shop as I picked this one up. It's all beaded. It's Hessian. It says, I need a vacation. It's got a really long strap and it's detachable. And I just thought it was cute. It's no make or has it? Let's look on the tag, see if it says anything on it. No, it just says made in India. But I just thought that is so cute. And I need to broaden my buying horizons. I need to open my eyes a bit, which I'm trying to do. So you can't see these because these are Christmas presents for our family. Don't worry, I haven't got them from the charity shop. Um, I got this, another long skirt. This is vintage. Well, if it isn't vintage, it's got a really washed out label. But it's just one of those hippie peasant skirts and it's in olive green. And I just thought autumn, winter, that should go. And for dipping my foot in, toe in, should I say, not my foot, for dipping my toe into clothing, um, I think if I'm spending a pound on something, it's fine. It's totally fine. Even if it's rubbish. It doesn't matter, does it, for a pound. I can still get a fiver. This was a pound, but I think I'm going to keep this for myself for the summer. This is next. I just liked the uh, deck chair styly pattern and the little pockets at the front. I like that it's not symmetrical and it's a bit weird. It's a size 14, so I probably won't be able to get into it yet. But I will next summer. I like the colours in here. I look better. Looks better in the kitchen. I'm going to start doing it in the kitchen from now on, people. Exactly, Kath. You can't lose, can you, if you're spending a pound? Have you tried the old children pull on ones? Oh, we're on about the uh, thing. E7. Too old to still. Mm. Yeah, try the huggies. I don't know, I've got all this to come, haven't I? I got this Peruna. I think the three love arts is Peruna. Corded um, coat. Oh, I need to get taller, me. It's 
It's hard to show you. Anyway, it's brown, corded, just buttoned down. It's got a nice um, tiger print, no, snake, snake skin print um, lining. And that was two pounds, absolutely nothing wrong with it, she says, looking at the front of it, and there's a bit of a mark. I know it's just a bit of fluff. Yeah, two pound. I mean, I've got to be able to get 20 for that, I would have thought. This pile's going to topple over in a minute. In fact, I might throw it on the floor and I'm going to, I'm going to throw the pile on the floor and then cry in the morning when I have to clear it all up. So is that everything for clothing? No. So I also went to another charity shop that's just outside Dewsborough and I go here quite regularly. Also, I wanted to show you this. Um, it's only from Wilco. It's just for my labels. It's just everyday paper. And it were only three quid. I thought that was a total bargain. It's really expensive online. Love the pattern of the skirt. Martina. I knew there won't be many in on the live today because I didn't actually want to do it as a live. Obviously, everyone's out at um, bonfires and fireworks. I've also got, I'm going to keep bobbing down because I've got a big, massive box on the floor. I also bought from the Cheapo, Cheapo shop, three books for Taylor for a pound. Peppa Pig's Day Out. This little, I know she's only a baby, but she loves being red to and one of these things that I've never had one of these before, but I'm presuming it takes batteries. It's all nursery rhymes, it's plastic, VTech. I'm presuming it does something because it has a switch at the back saying sound, no sound. But can I hell find where you put the batteries in? Yeah, it must do something because it's got a speaker at the bottom. I'm presuming you put them in there, but there's no drawing or anything. Or is the oh my god, I need glasses. Yeah, there is. So yeah, I got all them for Taylor. She loves the little books. Um, and everything I'm gonna show you now in this box, the whole lot was a tenner. Because I do go in there quite regular. In fact, I'm just gonna tot it up now to what it should have been. So what three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Mm -hmm. Well, I can count twenty-three pounds worth of stuff in there already, and there's some stuff are buried at bottom. But she let me have it all for a tenner because I I am in there a lot, like two to three times a week. Um, so I got this calico red coat. But I just liked this bow fastening. Hang on. I thought that is so cute. And for winter, I just think that's absolutely gorgeous. And it's wool. That make calico. It's not made of calico. Hang on. It's not showing you. No, we can't see it. There, you can sort of see it. I don't know. I think, is it Debenhams? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's only small. It's an eight. If that were my size, I'd have had that. Because it's absolutely gorgeous. But I reckon I can get 25 at least for that. Yeah, glitter, sunflower. I love the uh, bow too. Sorry, I'm just catching up on the chat. It unscrews on the spine. Right, I'm going to do it. I keep seeing them little plastic books and not buying them because I don't know what the hell they do. Um, so bear in mind, everything's a tenner, the whole lot. I got these unstructured Clarkses, red little pumpy things. They're not in immaculate condition. But they're not scuffed or anything. They're just creased. So, I mean, I'm not bothered. I've got the whole box lot for a tenner. 
and I'm sure I can't remember whose channel it was. It might have been it might have been Carla's that we're talking about the struck. Oh no, it was Sam's. It was Sam's reselling Polly. Oh Sam, you're there. <laughs> you're gonna go live with the haul. I won't be long. I'm just whizzing through this last box. I'm sure it was you that said about these clerks as unstructured that they go for decent money. Anyway, you got £39. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to do a bit of research then. So, I mean, everything must have cost me 50p in this box. So, I've got that much stuff. Um, hang on, people. A few more bangles. Another one of them. I thought I had another one of these. That wooden thing. Another wood and brass one. Um, and, like, enamelled modern... Um, is that a tiger, a white tiger, or a leopard? I don't know. Anyway, what are them things? And a textured resin bangle. Uh, so I also got one, two, three, four five teapots which i would never normally uh hi lex which i would never normally buy teapots so bear with me you might think i'm mental but i think that these things is that backwards yeah i think these things will sell why is the light so weird so this has got squirrels on it's very uh textured very country cottage. It's by that Leonardo, so it's not mega money. But bear in mind that everything in this box was a tenner, so it was like 50 pence. I don't think that's bad. There's nothing wrong with it. I picked all the ones out that didn't have chips on. There were like a full shelf full of teapots. And I thought, well, I'm going to pick some decent-ish ones out of that. So I got that one in the same vein. That's squirrels. This one is bunny rabbits and it's pink. I just think some weirdos will love these. Loads of money in the teapot, really. I'm gonna have to do some research. Uh, also, this cottage, it does have a roof. I just thought it was an unusual shape. And I know there is teapot collectors out there it's only Leonardo, same again. Or is it? Yeah, the Leonardo collection. So I don't think they're expensive to start with. Um, yeah, so that one. And another, another cottage. Cute. If I had a country kitchen, these would look cute. Leonardo the collection again. I mean, they're massive. You'd never use them. Surely not. So that was another 50p. And then I got this because I hate clowns, but I know that some people do like them. And that is actually a teapot. Freaky. And that is also Leonardo. Um, God, there's so many fireworks going off. I'm surprised Taylor's not woken up. Hi, Jason. Hiya. I'm nearly finished. I didn't actually want to go live. I wanted to record it, but I can't work out how to do it because I'm so thick. Uh, yeah. Oh, there is another teapot. Another teapot. The summer fit. A little tent. Q. 50p. 50p. I mean, God. 50p. And then some clothes. So I've got this ghastly... Farrell, probably 80s, you'll know, Lex. Uh, what do they call it? Lame, is it? Am I saying that right? It's like a gold, freaky material. <laughs> anyway, it's like a little cardigan thing. I got that. This is also, all, all this is from the £10 box. And I also got a nice plastic box with wheels on. Hmm. 
That's Tallinn. I got this tat and CNA long skirt, 50p. And last but not least, is that everything? I think so. I got this. Oh no, there is. There's another dress. There's another skirt somewhere. Where the hell is it? I bet I've left it in the van. I bet there's another box in the van. Anyway, I did. I got this, and I also got this horrible yellow skirt. But these pleated granny things have been going for me lately. So yeah, watch it back because I'm going to watch Sands after this while I'm doing some listing. So I'm trying to be a good girl. Grandma skirt, yeah. So yeah, so basically everything that I bought today, the whole of that was a tenner, that last bit that I showed you. And I think the rest was probably about a tenner, maybe 15 quid. So 25 quid on all that. And I'll probably get that back on them Clarks' shoes. So, tell me about the fireworks. It's like they're aiming for me at Mighty Mola. Hmm. I don't know where they're going off around here. I think it might be a uh, malt shuffle. And I did say I was going to take Taylor, but I think she's a bit young. I think her ears will probably explode. So, yeah, watch it back. Uh, it's just a bit of a weird haul for me, trying to dip my feet into clothing. Can't help buying... Um, vintage though can't help myself uh so if anybody's got any tips or any advice on anything that i've bought please uh leave me a little message or comment below whatever when you're watching it back um so i will go now because sam's gonna go live reselling poly on to you sam goodbye what size are the shoes quickly uh no idea six I'm going now. Bye.